Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice, and today we're going to be talking about what makes us happy in life and why we enjoy some games more than others. When I was growing up, I loved playing fighting games like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct. My brother and I would spend hours playing against each other and friends would crowd into the bedroom, each taking turns against the winner. In my little circle of friends, I was one of the best and I enjoyed being one of the best. What I didn't enjoy was thinking I was good at these games and then walk into the arcade and play against people that were actually good at the game and getting my butt beat and having to wait in line forever to try again. One of the first businesses I ever started was a LAN center or gaming center where people would come in and all play games together. I would love meeting new customers and playing games with them. We had a ton of games as you can imagine and a lot of times people would see a game that they had been dying to try and I would play it with them. I had to learn very quickly that I shouldn't beat them senseless at whatever game we were playing if I wanted them to have fun and enjoy their time there and come back again. I would have to play at their level so that way they would have a chance to learn and actually get good and before you knew it they were beating me fair and square. They had risen to my level of gameplay. It was more fun teaching people how to play than it was just to beat them senseless and then have nobody that wanted to play my favorite games with me. I had to learn that people tend to enjoy what they feel like they are good at. Gary V has a quote that I've seen floating around that says, if you don't love what you are doing, screw that. And I agree with that. It's more fun when you are enjoying what you are doing. And if we are having fun, then we will want to have more fun, right? Gary is a very smart man and way richer than I am. So believe me when I tell you, I am not disagreeing with his quote. The problem is, like a lot of things, people are taking this, this quote, taking it out of context and using it to justify their lack of persistence, their lack of stick to because what people are leaving out is human beings tend to enjoy, they tend to love what they are good at and what they feel comfortable doing. And since we aren't good at things when we first try them, the first time we come to a major hurdle and we aren't good at it yet, and I stress yet, we probably won't enjoy it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say to me, well, I'd rather be happy than rich because whatever they're doing, they're not happy while they're learning the process, while they're going through what they need to go through in order to become good at it. So they say, well, I'd rather be happy than rich. Me too. If I had to choose between the two, I'd definitely pick happy over rich. Thank God we don't have to choose between the two. We can be both. In Game of Thrones, Tyrion Lannister says, if you are going to be a cripple, it is better to be a rich cripple. And when you think about it, in the grand scheme of things, rich people are just poor people that happen to have yachts. It's not a choice in life to be happy or rich. We can be both. Here's my suggestion to everyone listening. Ask yourself, what is it that you want out of life? What result do you want? Once you have decided the result that you want, then pick the path that you will take to get there. But guess what? The path to your goals and dreams will have hurdles along the way that you will not love you won't enjoy, at least not at first. The result that I decided I wanted in life when I was first making these decisions was freedom. The freedom to choose what I do with my time and not have to choose between this and that. I didn't want to be happy or rich, I wanted to be both. I didn't want to have to choose between this video game and that one, I wanted to try them both. I have a buddy that recently couldn't decide between buying a Lamborghini and Ferrari. So guess what he did? He got both. I'm not that rich yet and I can't wait till I have that kind of freedom. In order for me to have that kind of freedom, 
I have had to do and will continue to have to do things that I don't necessarily love. Would it surprise you to hear that most people that run successful businesses have had multiple failed businesses first? Well, I have had multiple businesses that I started or helped start and they failed miserably. I have lost a lot of money over the years because I tried and failed. I didn't enjoy losing all that money. I probably won't ever enjoy investing into companies or startups that end up failing. When we got these companies started, we had to hire people to help us. And I've had to tell them, hey, we are going out of business. You will need to look for another job. I hate that. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. But what's our other option? Not even try? As long as I don't try to get these businesses started, then I will never have to have the problem of telling people that we are laying them off, right? But if I didn't keep trying so that way I could eventually succeed, then how much would it suck for all the people that have jobs with me now? They love getting paid. We had millions of dollars go out in our payroll last year and I love that part. It makes me happy to be able to give an opportunity to people and help provide for families and help them build their dreams. There are a lot of things that I didn't love when I had to first learn how to do them or how to deal with a new problem that I never had before. But now I love it when someone comes to me and says, oh my God, the worst thing is happening and I don't know how to deal with it. I love it because I had to learn how to deal with it and it makes me happy when I can share with them how to overcome it. I didn't love the process of learning better people skills when I was going door to door, doing door to door sales and getting rejected and told no, but I do love the result that learning those skills have taught me, which is the ability to handle unexpected problems and the ability to understand so many different types of people and walks of life because of all the people I have met from that process. I didn't love the process of learning to do public speaking at all, but I do enjoy it when people come up to me afterwards and tell me how much my speech, how much my talk helped them. I don't enjoy it when my mentors critique my public speaking skills, but I do enjoy it when people come up to me months or years later and they tell me how amazed they are at how much better I am since the last time they saw me speak. I don't love the process of staying healthy. I'd rather eat and drink whatever I want without having to exercise, but I love it when my wife tells me how good I look. There's a song from the 90s called Mo Money, Mo Problems. I would rephrase that to more money, different problems. The richer I get, the less problems I have that I used to have to deal with all the time when I was poor. I don't have to balance my bank account anymore because I pay someone to do that for me. The new problem that I have is I have to make sure that that person that's balancing my bank account for me, I need to make sure that person gets paid. I don't mow my lawn anymore, which means I don't have to worry about fixing the lawnmower when it breaks down. I just pay the guy that prefers to have those problems over having rich people problems. Get this problem that I used to absolutely hate and now I love. I have been invited to two amazing trips coming up that have been scheduled so that way they overlap. The problem is I can't be in two different countries at once. What do I do? I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but it makes me happy to have these so-called problems. Yes, I want you to be happy at what you are doing. What I don't want is for you to give up before you have given yourself the chance to practice and get good at that thing so that you will have the chance to love it. What I want you to do is learn to fall in love with the process of learning and overcoming. This is how you love what you are doing even when you don't love what you are doing. Remember that anything worth doing is worth failing at a bunch of times. For those of you that would like to learn about how to stick with things until you can learn to love it, I would recommend the book Three Feet from Gold, as well as the book Failing Forward, which will be in the description below. 
If this video helps one fellow gamer adapt their way of thinking and grow into the type of person that they have always dreamed of becoming, then my time has been well spent. If this video has helped you in any way, then help your fellow gamers out and share it with them. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up on that like button and subscribe. And until next time, remember to keep moving forward!